I also like how there's various flames come up when you pass by them. There's bones in that nest. Let's see here. Oh! There's another. Alright. Come get us. Aha! Nice try. Let's see in here. Another healing pod. Fifteen of these damn things. Oh, we won't have any problems healing ourselves, that's for certain. Boots, which we already have. Let's see. Ah. There's another one at the far end, but... Ah, he didn't see us. Alright, then. Oh, he actually left. Ah! Oh my! The Fiora have scratched crude designs in the walls. It looks like they have depicted themselves bowing down before a large humanoid creature. Very odd. Huh. That's interesting. Fiora apparently really do actually have some intelligence. They're actually worshipping something? I didn't imagine that. It would appear that the creations inhabiting these tunnels regarded the pages of this tome as food. None of the writing on the heavily chewed pages is still legible. Clearly, paper is very tasty. Let's see. Chest here. Shielding pod. Cloak and belt. These scrolls contain fiction and other light reading for the students. A constant trip from the ceiling has made all the ink run. Aww. But I like the fiction. I wanted to read something good. Like the Lusty Fjord Maid. That would have been fun. Nothing in there. A metal bowl and robe. Alright. We've explored everything here. There must have been student rooms or something. Not sure what. Let's see, up here. Yeah, this leads to the middle. Another reservoir, a lake, or something like that. And something here. Alright. Haven't found a key or anything yet. Let's see what's over in this area. Oh dear! Sudden attack! Where are all these things coming from? That can't be many more of them. Alright, let's see what's in here. Ah! Die, you thud! Yeah, a couple coins in there. That's something. Another thud. Easy to kill. Oh! Ah, Fiora! Fine. Come and get us. Aha! Hey! Don't attack my Fiora! He's my friend! Ah! And there's more Fioras! Oh crap, an Artilla! Not good. Ah, jeez! No! Not him! Not my Fiora! Vengeance! <sighs> okay. Uh, again, a uh, book that was completely eaten up. Sure is looking kind of damaged. Well, let's actually try casting a spell. Heal him! There we go. Oh, and we did level up again. Man, we are leveling up like crazy! Hmm. What are we gonna level up? Call me crazy. I, l I wanna bring it up to level 10. So let's do that. Improve quick action and anatomy. And there we go. I wanna bring leadership and mechanics to level 10 each. That would be very nice. Oh, 
One of the thoughts actually dropped a silver ring. Nice. That does not look good. The walls are destroyed and the doors are stuck open. You note the guard room, heavy stone doors, and narrow passages. You can guess where this hall leads. You are almost to the creation hall. Ahead, no doubt, the young shapers first set their hand to molding life with a considerable accompanying danger. Creation halls are always set up so that their keepers can seal them off in a moment. Unfortunately, the doors are stuck open and several of the walls have been smashed down. That is unlikely to be a good sign. Oh dear. Well, let's take a look. You enter the creation hall and find that it is occupied. There are several creations at the far end of the hall. Not surprisingly, they completely lack the expected level of obedience. One of them is an enormous thod. One look in its eyes reveals a strange, unexpected level of intelligence. Thoughts are stupid creatures made for physical label the physical labor and melee combat. This one has developed crude speech and the seeming ability to plan. You know it can talk because it shouts a challenge at you. You invaders! This my home now! You kill my pets! I rob on! We not follow you! We slay you now! Oh dear. Oh! Oh my! This could hurt. Ow. Fine. Go, my Fiora. You take care of the Fiora. I'll take care of its minions. Ow. Jeez. Oh my, there's several Fioras. There goes one Thod. And there goes a Fiora. Ow. Stop that. Fine. And we can still hit him. Oh my, that Fiora is actually behind a wall. Ah, jeez! There's several behind walls. You know what? Switch to the ones that are hiding. I wouldn't be able to reach them as easily. Well, there goes Rawbone. Alright, now we just need to finish off its minions. Ah, that one actually tried to run. If creatures get wounded enough, they actually do try to run. You know what? I'll let my Fiora finish them off. There we go. Student's belt. This is a belt or girdle. Shapers often in- Okay, yeah. Plus two armor. Ooh, plus one to intelligence and plus one to damage in combat. Very nice. And that's much better than our current belt. Bye, belt. Maybe that's part of how that thought got so intelligent. It got the boost from the belt. Cabbage. Cabbage. Meat. Nothing too special there. I'm guessing these are the locations where creations were actually created in. The thorns probably were meant to keep them from escaping. Let's see. Nothing in there. A couple coins. And in here. Absolutely nothing. Very big location, though. Let's see. Rawbone's possessions are stored in this box. It's mostly trash. Torn garments and broken weapons. The rogue creature scavenged everything it could. You also find an old key on a leather thong. You take it. It is old and rusty. Rawbone probably found the key when it took over these ruins and couldn't figure out how to use it. Oh. I think we may have found the key to the, uh... to the servant mind. So, let's go take a look at his... Actually, before we do... Let's see if we can open up the... No, no, let's take a look at the servant mind. Say hello to him. Ah, the key worked. And there's the servant mind. You approach the school servant mind. 
At first, you aren't sure if it's still alive. Then, slowly, quietly, it begins to speak. Its long, closed mouth breaking a thick crust of dust and dried saliva to speak with you. Welcome, Shaper. I am the mind who has been named Provar bleh, Povralus. It has been long since I have spoken or thought. Forgive my slowness. I will attempt to wake quickly and serve you better. I have lost much of my knowledge. What remains is at your service. You are still functional. How is this possible? I have endured quietly these long years, trusting in the skill of the shapers who crafted me. They fed me well before they left. I should be able to live for a century yet without difficulty. That is much longer than you had thought these creatures would ever be able to live. What do you eat? The shapers fed us a solution they crafted. They fed us long and well and kept our power strong. I am not hungry yet, but I know other minds on this island endure much greater exertions than I. If you find them, you may find them to be weak and unhelpful, and even, sadly, deranged. Solution, however, may revive them. Where can I find some of this solution? I do not know. I believe that all we had here was fed to me before I was sealed away. A solution can, if properly sealed, last many, many years. So you may still find some on the island. Oh, what is the term for something like this? Oh, I know it is something... Uh, Chekhov's gun. Yes, yeah, so that's probably it. The mind is breathing clearly and easily now. These creatures have marvelous longevity. How else may I assist your shaper? This was a school. Can you teach me anything? I was instructed to forget all I learned, know, or could teach, and any information that could not be forgotten must be taught to anyone. Uh, must not be taught to anyone. I have attempted to follow those instructions as best I could. Do you remember nothing at all? I think I can work some minor modif- I- I- can not act in this way. It contradicts my directions. Hmm. Let's see. Teach me what you know, servant. I command it. Otherwise, I will destroy you. Forgive me for what I must do, Shaper. Know that I am only following my orders. You don't see the mind do anything unusual, but suddenly you feel horribly ill. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, where's the curing pod? Ow.